is all about conduction of messages down the nerves. That's a basic, basic fact. And when you have multiple sclerosis, the messages don't get passed down the nerves because the insulation on the nerve gets scarred. And this bloke, Uthoff, Wilhelm Uthoff, who was a German and um, lived in the last century, produced this, what's called, idea, now became known as Uthoff's phenomenon, about conduction of messages through the nerves. So if the body gets warmed up, the message is not passed down the nerves and doesn't get there. And he produced, identified this by putting a person into a hot bath. If you go into a hot bath, your core temperature rises, and he realised that people weren't out. It was all to do with their sight, their, their vision, that they couldn't see very well. And in fact, they couldn't see at all because the Impulse couldn't pass down the nerve of certain people who had a nervous problem. It was only later it was connected with multiple sclerosis. And in fact, in the beginning of this century, if they thought you had multiple sclerosis, they'd put you in a hot bath and leave you there and see if you, your reflexes, weren't, your reactions weren't quite so good. So, what sort of things increase? cause your body temperature to go up. Well, obviously, sunshine, sitting in front of a fire to get warm when you're cold, a fever, if you've got a cold, the temperature, flu, that can have the same effect. What happens in even I get you toss phenomena? Well, I get paralysed from the waist down. And it's really it's quite a daunting experience. Um, I'll tell you a story about what happened to me on one occasion. Um, we're down visiting some friends in Somerset. And it was a day, it was about this time of the year, it was quite cold outside, and they'd all been out for a walk. And I've been out and out the garden looking at the flowers. And so, something one does. I'm sorry, but one does these sort of strange things. And I came inside and I was quite cold. And in fact, I was more than quite cold. My toes were cold. Now, how sometimes your body gets cold, and you just you're you're cold to the core, and there's no way you can get warm again. But that's how exactly how I felt. So I sat down in front of a fire, and just to, she was having a dinner party, so guests arrived, and I, I began to warm up in front of the fire, and I was talking away, and then suddenly my vision went pink. I uh, had double vision. Um, which is something I get with my multiple sclerosis. And then 
I thought there were more about him. Now, this is that just a trivial, trivial thing. And then she said, it's time for supper. I, I couldn't get up. I don't know if you can imagine it, but you're sitting in the chair and you can't move your legs. And that's what happened to me. And I couldn't even stand up. I just could not move. And eventually two people lifted me up. And walking is really a fairly straightforward thing to do. Put one foot, then the other foot. It's a, it's a reasonably straightforward it's an exercise. But I couldn't even move my feet. I couldn't do anything from the waist down. And um, these two blokes actually had to haul me upstairs and put me on the bed. And then I would just sleep it off. And the next morning I was okay, but I felt up, woke up as if there was a little bed of a hangover, and I felt as if I was drunk too much, but I hadn't had the fun of the drinking itself, which is rather a shame. So that way my body temperature increased. It happened once before, well it happened several times roughly, it happened once before when I was sitting in the sunshine and it started and so I just associated it with the heat from the sunshine and the heat from the sunshine bringing the Utah syndrome, I just never thought it would really come in, in, in any other way. And so this thing from the fire, sitting in front of the fire, was exactly the same but the heat came from a different source and then um, I had it another time where I had an infection and my temperature rose and I was upstairs and I was actually quite ill and I realised I couldn't get down the stairs because my temperature had risen, this Utah phenomenon had struck in and we actually had to ring up an ambulance to get me to hospital because my wife couldn't get me down, they couldn't carry me down the stairs put me in an ambulance, sorry, put me in the car to take me to the hospital. Um, and it's really quite frightening, but it strikes in other ways as well. I talked about vision. And there's one, one woman I know, and she becomes blind. It's like having a piece of cardboard in front of her, in front of her glasses. And as it gets hotter and hotter, it grows and grows, the size of the cardboard. So eventually you can't see anything. So, It's, it's one of the side effects of multiple sclerosis, this. And it's something that I don't like. You know, it's, um, it's an effect that's a byproduct of the disease, but it's really quite frightening because you can't do things that you enjoy doing, like sitting out in the garden. I can't bask in the sunshine, because if I bask in the sunshine, temperature goes up. I can't sit in the garden in the pub and enjoy a beer and have a chat with friends. And that, to my mind, is really sad because I can't quite enjoy doing it. And I don't know what's going to happen. You know, it just it started about 18 months ago. And it's gone on, it's gone on from there. So I will leave with that rather sobering thought of what happens to me. <laughs> and you now know a little bit more about multiple sclerosis and Utah's phenomenon. Thank you very much indeed.